After a crackdown on corrupt officials at the Immigration Department began, Kenyans seeking passports continue to complain of officials who demand bribes and abusing power. Voices of discontent are echoed among Kenyans who travel from far and wide to Nyayo House in search of the vital travel document. Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki on Thursday made an impromptu visit to assess the situation at the government facility, experiencing firsthand the frustrations Kenyans go through. And as Ben Kirui reports, the CS once again pleaded with Kenyans for more time to clear the backlog in passport applications and processing. Inside the Immigration Department headquarters at Nyayo House, Nairobi, queues of hundreds of Kenyans waiting to be attended to paint a true picture of what most have been going through in search of a passport. Making it to the building's interior gives many hopes of obtaining the vital travel document in a process that should take just 10 days. But in reality, it is the beginning of a long and arduous journey. Keith Lovisi, just like many Kenyans, has been here more than five times and understands the frustrations only too well. But issue uh, is before, as in Kiraziwa na MP Kindiki. There will be some change. But till now, at only any change, at una hope. Ata tuksema for another five years. There's still no hope. The delay in processing the passports has been attributed to corrupt cartels at the government facility. A crackdown at Nyayo House has led to the arrest of four suspects so far, but has done little to restore the faith of Kenyans. Apa kusema story of corruption is not a new thing. Apata minisha yulizwa, ata na soldiers wenyewe, anakuambia leta 10,000 ni kuskumie. Mwona, hiyo 10,000 mwenyewe ujatumia ata hiyo pesa ku apply for passport. Nilikuwa ni melinio passport February this year. Na wadi wa leo aijai toka. Nikikuja saa ni naabiwa tuwa hiko lede. Na nikia prai nilikuwa ni meabiwa, hiyo kitu itatoka na siku tatu. Haya, sasa kuna kasi mtu wanapata inje, lakini jua una passport, sinapotelea hivyo. On Thursday, interior CS Kithure Kindiki made an impromptu visit to Nyayo House, experiencing firsthand what thousands of Kenyans go through every single day. The CS who interacted with Kenyans who had lined up waiting for their turn at passport applications and other government services promised to deal with the issue of delay of passports once and for all. People of Kenya to be patient a little while because we will, we will solve this problem. There are no two ways about it. So in the coming days, a few weeks, we'll be back to normal. We'll have finished the entire, I estimate in another 14 days, the entire backlog will be finished. And then now we start optimal production of passport by applicants as and when they arise. The CS putting on notice the corrupt officials who have for a long time been soliciting bribes from Kenyans, tarnishing the Nyayo House public image. The public cannot be complaining in vain. There must be a few among us who are soiling our name. And that's why I said last week, and I want to repeat it now, we will clean up this place from corruption, cartels, and anyone who is asking for bribes from this space, whether it's a police officer, whether it's an immigration officer, whether it's a public official of whatever rank, even if they are ordinary citizens who have come to do brokerage for bribes here, we will arrest them and prosecute them. The CS further adding that the department reduced the passport backlog from 58,000 to around 44,000 in just a week. We started uh, the current, uh, uh, the current uh, strength of production. We had over 100,000 application spending and more Kenyans were still applying. We have been able in the last one month or so to bring down that backlog, including the new applications, to last week 58,000 to today 44,000. Despite disclosures of the arrest and arraignment of four suspects, 
passport application backlog and queues still remain. And that really is the problem that Kenyans seek solid solutions for. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.